welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. I'm over here at Capello Heavy Hall, Shrewsbury, Massachusetts. Buying some bling for my new trailer. I should also point out, they do custom fabrication, repairs and welding. So you buy a brand new truck like this one and that one, which will go to WL French. You leave your truck here and they will put fenders on it. They'll do all kinds of custom stuff, visors, lights, bumpers. I think they do PTOs. They do all your custom work. And these are company trucks too. In fact, little little fun little fun fact. See, this is a WL French truck right here. Yeah, no PTO on yet. My truck is an old French truck. How'd you like that? Did you know that French has the black hoods? And my hood was black once, and now it's white. That's where all the goodies are. Some big pipes. Well, those things will look good on my truck, right? Get all your wash needs. Get that good Renegade products. Need some gear. Check that out, huh? That's pretty cool. Now that's a chrome shop. They get their own custom rig right inside. Awesome. This chrome shop sure has grown since the last time I was here. It's probably been few years probably three years since I've been here last look at that leader of the band all the goodies got a headache rack mud flaps mud flap weights toolboxes fenders got the famous rat rod they got everything at this place Look at this thing. What do y'all think of that? Rat rod at its finest. This is pretty freaking cool. Old school cool right here. Yeah, it's different. Not everybody's taste. I think it's cool as shit. Look at this thing. <laughs> wow. Look at that visor and those stacks. Jeez. Nitrous in the back here. <laughs> That's cool. You got your lug nuts, your license plate frames, your pogo sticks, or some people call them rookie sticks. Got the bumpers, toolboxes. There's some old school cool right here. You guys know what this stuff is? Fuel pumps. I bought some bezels. I'm getting my new wagon. So I came here. I got some lug nut covers. I got some of these. I got uh, four packages of four hub covers, lug nuts. I got some bezels for the rear lights. I didn't buy them for the side yet. They got all kinds of chicken lights. All kinds of cool stuff here. What happens if you press this button? Whoa, look at that. Nice. That's awesome. Wow, look at that. It's like Christmas around here. I wonder if you press, does this one have any buttons? All right, no buttons there. Oh wait, there are buttons. Holy shit, this, I wonder if this is the, uh... yeah, I can be, people just come in here and press these buttons, I bet. Like me. Woohoo! United Pacific Lights. Awesome stuff. So cool. I just shut it off. So get all your lights here you need. Get Hogue Built products. Some people call them Hodge Built. I always call them Hogue Built, but I actually think they're Hodge Built. Got more lights, 
fenders, got half fenders here, headache racks, air horns, or those train horns. Wood grain steering wheel, drop visors. That's what I need. I need a I need an I need an RLK visor. That's what I need on mine. Anyways, more chrome and goodies. Look at that. Look at this frame. Holy cow. My frame doesn't even compare to this. You know, I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna spend some money. I already I already spent some of my boss's money. I'm gonna start spending my own pretty soon. <laughs> what? I wouldn't even know what to do if I had a took it like this. How you doing? Good, how are you? Let's take a look at some of their equipment, which ain't too shabby. What a beautiful truck that is. These are company trucks. I mean, come on. Look at this guy over here. It's Justin Robinson, right there. We'll talk to him later. When you see him, though, I always said this, if they ever remade Convoy, he could play the rubber ducky. He just got that look. He always has that look. That old school trucker look. And he's a young guy. He's probably half my age. This is uh, Martin's truck. Martin Gabar that I know. Pretty awesome truck. These are company trucks, man. How cool is that? Look at all the chrome, goodies, lights. They don't skip on anything. Where's your truck? Right here? Cool. Want to be in a video? Huh? So you want to be in a video? I love being in a video. Come on, right here. Right there. I was telling the people at home in this future YouTube video that I have permission from Chuck Capello to make. I said, look at that guy right there. If they ever remade Convoy, that's the guy right there. <laughs> but you hear it all the time. What year is this truck? 15. 2015. No kidding. What's it get under the hood? 6NZ 550. 6NZ 550. No shit, huh? King of the road, huh? Going down the road with this thing? Something like that. Last awesome in the left lane the whole way. Okay, left lane gang, huh? Left lane gang. In the red frame gang. Red frame hall of fame. Red frame hall of fame. That's right. Wow. I bet she sounds good, too. Oh, yeah. What are the chances you start her up for me? Mike, for you, anything. You are the man. You're going to be a star in my video. Oh, I like the flames. I never noticed the flames before. Pretty fucking cool. I like the steps here. That's pretty cool. And it's not bad driving for a company that's got its own chrome shop too, you know? Absolutely not. No. How long you been here now? A few months? Three months. Three months? Treating you good, right? Treating me great. Best job I've had so far. Awesome, dude. Glad to hear it. All right, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to keep doing some walking around here. Do you think? I'm still plunking away on my end. <laughs> You see that guy on the left right there? Let me tell you a story. I don't embarrass him. Nice kid. You know, a lot of people write to me and they say, I just got a message the other day. A guy said, uh, hey, what do you think of Prime? I just got my license. I want to go work for Prime. And I said, you know, I highly advise not going to the big box companies. You know, I'm not going to name any names. Prime, Swift, J.B. Hunt, Schneider, Werner. England, I say go door to door, present yourself professionally in clean trucker attire, and you get your license, you go door to door like a place like Capello here. I'm not putting them on the spot, they're not just gonna hire anybody that walks in, but you know, 
they're sometimes looking for help, just like every company is these days. And you present yourself in a professional manner and you say, hey, I'm willing to start at the bottom, sweeping floors, greasing trucks, washing trucks, drive a ramp truck, drive a parts truck. And you work your way up into the big trucks. And that kid just got his license, this kid right here in the Ford, just got his license, I think he said in June, it's October. He's running around in this big old Ford LTL 9000. He drives a Peterbilt over there. Nice kid, really nice kid. And he, that's what he did. He went to it, he came over here, he grew up in the area, he saw the trucks his whole life. He walked in, presented himself in a professional and humble manner. And now he's hanging with these boys and that's how you gotta do it. Forget the big companies. They don't care about you. The recruiters don't care about you. You want a smaller company with a family atmosphere that recognize you when you walk in the door. It's like a place like Capello Heavy Transport here. Shrewsbury, Mass, you know? Shit, they got their own chrome shop. I mean, <laughs> I love this truck. Check this Mac Titan. You know, I hope my boss doesn't see this video. He sent me here to buy chrome for my trailer. We should have taken like maybe a half an hour and I've been here a little over half an hour now and he's paying me for this. And I hope he doesn't watch my YouTube video and fires me. And I would have bought that chrome for the next guy and that would really be, would really be disappointing to me. But you know what, I wonder if I, you know what, I wonder if, hey, I had a light bulb just went off. If that happens, what if I knocked on the door here, if they'd hire me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing to myself. Oh, my boss watches my videos. I know he does. Some of them do. Sometimes they watch them. And he's not going to fire me. Not over this. Did I ever tell you the story how I got the jo my job? I met my boss one day. Oh, shit. This is 2013. He told me he watches all my videos. And I just started out with social media and YouTube then. And uh, a year later, I was working for him. So here's what I want to say to him if he sees this. What did you expect? You sent me here. You sent me here. What did you think I was going to do? And I'll, be never sent, I'll never be sent here again. I love this truck. Not because it's a Kenworth, because I'm actually a Peterbilt guy who's conforming to a Kenworth guy. Right, look at the visor on that. That's so cool. A cool Western star. That's a Western star. Look at that. With a long hood and a visor. Walking tall. It's called a napper sleeper. We used to have these at New Century. And we stay out in them all week, sleeping in the thing. We had to sleep on the side. Sleep on our slick. They even advertise other chrome shops. That's mighty nice of them. All right. I got to get back to work. Getting paid for this, you know. That's ah, the end of the day. I did my five loads today. Dropped my trailer off at Cromaro to get a new liner for the next guy. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to hook up to my brand new trailer and do some hauling with it. When I get back, I'm going to add the chrome covers for the wheels and the bezels that I bought for the lights. That's why I'm here. And I was, Cromaro's right down the street from here. So it just made sense to stop by here now while I had the chance. Dude, look at this truck. Seriously, look at those. What do you call those stacks? Are they coal hauler stacks? Stove top stacks? I don't even know. Freaking cool. I've seen this truck. It sounds, all these trucks sound good, but that truck really sounds good. Wow, right? All right, let's, before we leave, let's look at the boss's truck. This is Chuck Capello's truck, who declined to be interviewed. <laughs> I asked him, so Chuck, can I interview you? He said, absolutely not. So, <laughs> this is the truck Chuck drives. And uh, it is definitely fitting for the owner of this company to drive such a magnificent ride. by degree. <laughs> That's funny. There goes Ben. 
That's pretty cool right there. You see all the custom stuff on this truck. I need that. Never seen one of those before. Nice little hanger. All cool custom stuff, custom steps. I love the air cleaner right there. I don't know, something about that. Let's see. Wow, how cool is that? Awesome, awesome. And the boss even works, and you can tell he's got the working gloves right there. So, you gotta respect owners that get out and work. Just like where I work, you know, like where I work, the owners of Cardillo, they work harder than the people they employ. You know, we start out in the morning and go home in the evening, early evening, they're still there working. And uh, you gotta respect that. You know, they get out there every day and get in the dirt and get it done. Now, I get a little problem. I bought too much chrome, I didn't bring, I didn't bring big enough a truck. And uh, it's gonna be a little problem getting this thing home. I got a lot of chrome. How am I gonna set up my mirror? I'm gonna have to uh, come like a contusionist or something. All right, you got the Boston trucker here. I'm eastbound and down. Come on. Well, I got her hooked up. She's been sitting here for about five weeks. I got my chrome goodies over the hubs. Had to put those on. I got some chrome bezels for these lights on the back here. We'll be ready to haul with it tomorrow for the first time. Thanks for watching as always hit that subscribe button the Boston trucker out